I'm Meredith and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so excited that you found me and if you're returning, I'm so grateful you've decided to come back and watch more. I love all things luxury. I love luxury shoes, luxury handbags, luxury lifestyle and vlogging and if they're things that appeal to you, I hope you'll do me a massive favor and hit that subscribe button down below. Hitting that subscribe button costs you absolutely nothing but means an awful lot to me so I hope you'll help me out. Today we have an unboxing from something from my 2023 wish list, but also from a brand that I do not own anything from. So I identified back in my 2023 wish list that I was looking at this item for travel that I thought it would be really handy. And I have finally made it into store and bought one after looking at it. So let's get it unboxed and I'll show you guys. So it's from Foray Lepage and I have learned how to pronounce that now. Um, and I picked this up at the Sydney store. Can I just say the staff in there were lovely, like so nice. And I was coming off the back of um, trying to get into the Chanel color codes, whatever it was called, pop up that they had in Sydney. I had booked an appointment and I was really sick at the time and I booked it for the wrong day. So I just stopped in and said, hey, can you get me in? I can't get an appointment online because you closed the appointments the night before, but I knew that you had appointments today. And they went, no, no, you can't come in. I was like, well, can't I just wait? Like, you're not at capacity. I know that. Can't I just wait and, and see if you can get me in? No. If you don't have an appointment, you can't come in. That was so rude. Um, so then I went direct from there to Foray Lepage and I was saying, oh my God, I've just had this experience. And even the women in there were like, yeah, they're not nice up there. <laughs> no, they won't. Um, but the women in Foray Lepage were lovely. So I thank them for their help. Um, okay, so let's get it out. Oh, there's several things in here. Let's have a look. What have we got? So first of all, they tie it with some ribbon and we have, oh goodness, many things. So there's a little Foray Lepage book. Uh, I'm not actually sure what this is. It must be like an overview of the brand. Illustrated history. It's an illustrated history. If you just read the front page, Meredith, they'll tell you what it is. Um, its history is an epic audacity in its signature. Art is its representation. So this is a picture book about their history. Cool. And then I also got a Foray Lepage card, which has nothing inside. I also got two envelopes. No idea what's in these. Let's have a look. Oops. So, oh, I have the sales associates details and tips on prolonging the life of your bag. So thank you, Jesse from Foray Lepage. You are fabulous. And I'm gonna guess this one's the receipt. So they all come with little um, stickers with a little knight on them. And yes, so that is the receipt. So I can tell you prices as well. So I'll come back to you. All right, so in this, bag we have my item so it's just a plain white dust bag in cotton which says for a lapage on it and let's get it out we have the battle tote in the are you 31 does it say i think they do strange 35 so this is the daily battle 35 zip so this is 35 so I chose it in the green color and the other color I was considering was the blue. They didn't have the blue in stock. So I ended up with the green, which suits me just fine. And let me just take this off. So I also added to this an initial. So you can see there I've added an M. So this is two parts and I paid extra for that, but we'll get into it. So this is the daily battle tote. Let's open it up and it's a 35, which tells me it's going to be 35 centimeters across the bottom. Oh, there we go. So it is green on the inside, completely lined in plain green cotton. I want to say it has two slip pockets on one side over here. And on the other side, we have a zip compartment and you can put a decent amount there. It says for a lapage on the tag on the inside. And because you can see it has yellow accents on the um, canvas, 
it also has yellow accents inside. So there is a D ring here in case you want to attach anything to it. And the zip has yellow detail on it as well. Great things about 4A Lepage totes are the amount of holes you get in the straps. So you can make this any length you want. Um, and I have it on the second longest setting at the moment. And that's a good length for me for carrying. This is a um, printed canvas, um, but it is certainly um, hardy. Like it's gonna wear really well. You don't have to worry about this at all. And because it's all leather trim, there is no raw leather there as, at all. Um, so you don't have to worry about uh, rain. And then on the corners, you have extra leather bits to protect the canvas from wear. And you have a zipper on top. So. This is a great travel tote, I'm hoping. So the bag itself, let me tell you. So the bag itself is $2,800, which is a great price. And we're gonna talk about it in comparison to the Neverfull in a minute. And then I paid $100 for the M and $320 for the leather bit that it attaches to. So if you look, so this is in two parts. There's the leather bit there and then the letter attaches to that. So you could easy change this letter out if you wanted to. It doesn't have to stay an M. So if I at some point down the track wanted to sell it, I'd just take the M off it or I could take the whole bit off it and it'd just be a, to a tote again. I am hoping to get a um, organizer for this. I don't know if I have time before I go away. I go away in six weeks um, and all my organizers come from Handbag Angels. Their details are always in my description box down below, but I will talk to them about if they have um, an option for this or I'll have a look at my Neverfulls and see if they're going to fit, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So I'm by, I bought this to travel with. Here are my concerns at the moment. So this is a uh, 35, like I said, which tells me it's 35 centimeters across the bottom. My usual travel tote is my Neverfull GM, which is over here. So my GM Neverfull is huge, and that's why I usually travel with it. So if we look at the size comparison of these two, you can see that the GM is far bigger than the battle tote. So couple of things there. The Neverfull is an issue because it doesn't do up across the top. When you go through customs and security and stuff, if they can't take it through standing up and you've got to lay it down, all your stuff falls out of it. And I don't know about anyone else, but when I travel, I shove so much stuff in that. So of course it all falls out. So having the zip on top is a really great option for me but the 35 is the biggest size they do with the zip so i am taking my chances on this one i think it's probably much closer to an mm size so let's have a look i think it probably sits between the two so this is an mm you can see straight off the bat the mm is wider um and let's have a look are you bigger so in terms of the size of the bottom they are basically the same length, but the MM is wider. So you've got maybe two centimeters wider. So it's about the same size as an MM, but not quite. Um, it's gonna hold a little bit less than an MM. So let's try my MM organizer in this and see if it fits. So, all right, so let's see if the MM organizer fits into the battle tote. It's not perfect because the MM is wider. It's not sitting properly. So it's definitely going to need its own organizer made for it, specifically to its specifications. So I can't even do that. So at the moment, that is my only concern, the capacity of it. It does need an organizer, but to be fair, I can travel without one because I throw so much crap in there anyway. Um, but yeah, the capacity of it is my only concern. I need to consider if I can make better use of my carry-on suitcase. So I put less in this because um, usually I'll put my laptop in it um, and bits and pieces that I want, jewelry, that kind of stuff, I'll keep on me in my handbag, not in my carry-on suitcase. So it might be a case of I just need to be better organized. 
but I'm going to take this one with me. I'm fairly certain that this is what I'm taking to travel with and then I will see how I go with it. There is also something to be said for because I put so much in the GM, it does get heavy, it does get cumbersome and this is going to force me to be more considered which means my shoulder is going to hold up better. Um, the straps are also much more comfortable than the Neverfull so when you're walking around the airport this is much more comfortable than the Neverfull is going to be especially with the amount of weight that I put in the Neverfull. So I think this might force me to be a better traveller if nothing else. I may well come back and have hated it to travel with, but I'm going to give it a go. So last time I went overseas to New York, I took my um, carry-all from Louis Vuitton and I hated it. I found it too boxy, too structured, too heavy. Um, so I was going to go back to my Neverfull, but this came up as an option and now I'm looking at to travel with this. So I think after my trip, I will do a roundup of what I think is the best travel tote to travel with. And that will just be my opinion, um, but I'll compare my trip with the carry-all to my trips to the Neverfull and then using the daily battle tote. So we'll see how we go with it. But I love the colour and I love the canvas and I love that it's got a zip. Um, it has all the things that I want in a bag. I just really wanted it to be a little bit bigger. So for a Lepage, if you're listening, your Paddle Tote 41, I want to say, could you do that in a zip? That'd be great. Because <laughs> even Goyard, because I'm looking at Goyard, I'm going to Goyard while I'm in Paris, even their zip tote doesn't isn't that big so can somebody please help me with a zip tote that is the size of a never full gm that would be great um yeah just putting it out into the universe just in case anyone's interested um so that's my newest unboxing and i have ticked that off my wish list for 2023 so i'm super excited to use it and see how i go with it and then i'll give you guys a review if you've liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. It means a lot to a content creator when you hit that subscribe button. Please also hit the little bell notification so you know when I've uploaded videos, which is usually three times a week. I'll also throw up my Instagram handle for you so you can come follow me over there. I put lots up in real time, lots around my day-to-day -day life and my collection. So please come follow me over there. I hope wherever you are in the world today, you are having a fabulous day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.